What's up everybody? Welcome back for another video. Same day as all the other videos because like y'all know I'm having a baby soon. So we are trying to get as many videos done as we possibly can. Today we've got the new Supreme Judge, okay? Um, this plastic is amazing. Um, I've shown it to you guys with the Escape um, and absolutely love it. It's a lot like the Royal plastic. Um, adds a little bit more stability, uh, but also makes it a little more tacky and grippy. So we're gonna be playing a couple holes comparing this judge um, to just a lucid judge um, and then an old beat up classic judge and then kind of a more neutral, uh, just regular judge. So I'm gonna be throwing all these off and on for a couple holes, kind of compare, let you guys know how I feel about it. Let's get into it. All right, so hole one here is 300 feet and it's a slow turning, like slow turnover. So obviously the judge isn't the best uh, disc for that, but um, I'm gonna throw the Supreme Judge here with some power and Annie. We're gonna see what we can get it to do. And then I'm gonna compare that to uh, the classic judge. It's a little bit more beat in. See if we can make it do anything. So we're gonna really try and put some power on this. Turn it over. Um, see if we can uh, get it down there for a look. Oh yeah. Woo! Did you see that? All right, so it actually holds torque really well there. You saw that it just held that angle, um, but didn't turn over. Now with this classic judge, I'm gonna give it a little bit more height because it is a little flippier, and um, I'm not gonna throw this one on as much ante, but I'll still give it a little bit. Yeah, so as y'all can see, that one turned over a lot more. Um, so I wouldn't mind the Supreme Judge turning into that eventually just because I like how the plastic feels, but that was a pretty good shot. All right, y'all, so this was a ridiculous shot. Like, honestly, that held that really good. Got a nice little flare up, never came back. Normally I throw like a felon here or a mid-range or something. So throwing this new Supreme Judge right there, giving it some power and some torque and it just holding it, that was sick. I actually really, really like this disc. All right, so we've got four total judges here. We're throwing uphill here. It's actually a pretty far hole, but um, I just want to show you the flight of them. Um, we'll start off with the Supreme Judge again, just so you can see. Uh, I'm going to try and give this a little bit of um, action on it. So we're going to start it down the left with some Annie, and we'll just compare all these so y'all can see the different flight paths of them. So it holds it, it's not stable, really nice and like consistent. Like I know, I know what it's gonna do. I'm not gonna be able to turn it over and I also know that it's not gonna stable out. This is the beat up one, which if we throw on the same angle, will turn over a lot more. So we'll give it some more height. That one's able to fly nice and smooth too. That was the first putter that Didi ever sent me like uh, three years ago or so. Now we got another judge. Throw this one on the same line as the first one. It's such a consistent uh, putter, honestly. Also, for those of you who are interested, um, my uh, tour series, obviously, they're not tour series discs, but my custom discs are on the Another Round website. Here's the one with the molt leaf. Um, and then this is the other one with the blowing leaves in the wind. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to go and snag any of those. They help support me and they're just good discs. All right, so all the putters actually ended up um, about the same area. There's the Supreme one, here's just a regular judge, and here's the beat-in one because it turns over a little bit more. Um, but again, super consistent, flew really nice. All right, now when most of us think of putters, obviously we think of putting, but we also think about upshots. Um, we're about 100 feet away here, so we're going to throw all of these on just nice, easy, flowing up shots with a good little follow through, just so you can see the, again, the continued consistency of um, the judge, especially the Supreme one. It feels really, really good in the hand. You can get a good grip on it. That'll work. That's about 10 feet short. The other one. Wider route on that. That one just died. And then the beat up one should be able to get a little bit of action on it too. That one stands up a little bit more. But all really consistent up shots. 
All right, so this hole is perfect for throwing the judge. It's a par three, 285 feet. And with the judge not being super stable, like obviously, yeah, it is a stable putter um, because it just is. Um, but we're gonna throw these probably flat, maybe a little bit of hyzer down the right side. Actually, not flat. We're gonna throw them with some hyzer down the right side and see if we can just get them down to the basket down there. So consistent. Look at that. I was even parked. I think I just hit the, the base of it. We'll throw the more beat in one, which is gonna push a little bit further straight. And again, I know this video is about the Supreme uh, Judge. It's a judge, just in great plastic. And I'm showing you how it compares to beat in ones of, of different plastics. That one stands up a little bit, stands up a lot of bit. Pretty consistent again, and then we'll just go ahead and just throw this lucid one so you can see what a more stable one looks like in comparison. Threw that one way more flat, and that's why it actually didn't look stable. But the other ones I threw on hyzer. All right, so the more beat in one went right here because obviously it stood up more, wasn't as stable. Um, I threw this judge after I turned the camera off, and it's solid. And park job with the, uh, with the Supreme one, y'all. I'm loving this thing. All right, so we're gonna compare the Supreme Judge again, y'all, to the more beat-in classic Judge. Um, 330 feet, kind of downhill, but then the basket ends uphill. So it probably plays about 320 or so. Um, gonna give this a rip on Annie, and honestly, I think it's gonna hold the whole way there. Gonna give it some height, too. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, <laughs> I feel like that was probably going to be in the circle. All right, classic one. A little less ante on this one. Probably more power, less ante. And uh, should get a similar result. Hopefully miss that last guardian tree. Oh, yeah. So, gave that about the same amount of ante. I need a little less ante. I think that that would have been down there. All right, y'all, so we hit this tree. Um, I think if we had come a little bit left, we probably would have been edge of the circle up there. Um, but man, I'm, I'm actually presently surprised with the glide and like the float of that judge. It just wants to hold that ante angle even when it looks like it's coming out. Um, like, I seriously love that. That is 100% going in my bag. All right, so Supreme Judge, Classic Judge here. Anheuser down towards this basket. Gonna have to give this a little bit of power just to make sure that we actually get down there. It holds it, folks. Oh, wow, okay. Man, I don't think of judges as understable, but this one holds the ante, and I love that so much. Man, that's fun to throw. All right, so I wanted to throw some forehands with the judges um, just to show you guys. So the lucid one, we'll just get a big hyzer to the basket down there. Aiming probably 30 feet to the left of the basket. And that's gonna be parked. A little bit behind. Now with this one, we're gonna throw a little ante. This is the beat in one. Oh, gave it too much. So that same angle with the Supreme Judge, which is the real one we're testing out, I think is gonna be solid. Yeah, that's going right at it. Right next to the basket, feels really good. And you guys know that I struggle with forehand putter shots. So the way that that Judge specifically feels, even compared to these other ones, is really good. Again, they come out, they hold that ante, and then they just coast right up to the basket. Back home now with the judge. I just wanted to finish this video off saying that I don't know why I stopped throwing judges. <laughs> the judge was the first putter that DD ever sent me and I learned to throw putters throwing the judge. Um, but as I started messing around with other molds and all that kind of stuff, I forgot about how consistent it was. And this Supreme Plastic genuinely feels like so good. So if you're already a judge lover, the Supreme is gonna be 
incredible. Um, I don't putt with judges, I putt with keystones, uh, which is a more understable disc, but I loved the fact that I could put power behind this and it wouldn't turn over. Um, I've been throwing it around my yard um, and all that kind of stuff too, just working on approach shots and everything, and it's just fun. I can't wait to get out, play some rounds with this, get up my consistency and my confidence from like 200 feet or so with this putter um, because I know that I'll be able to. Can't wait to break it in and see how it changes, all that kind of stuff. If you guys have thrown the Supreme Judge, uh, comment down below how y'all feel about it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. Appreciate it. See you in the next one.